Hey friends, it's Deanna here, and today we're selling the Girl With Me PJs, which is a free pattern for Ellie and Mac. How amazing. Free pattern. Yay! And it is super cute, super easy, and I love it. My kid loves it, so I'm making him some more, so I figured we'd do it together. Uh, but before we get started, let me remind you of our fun fan giveaway. We would give $50 Ellie and Mac gift certificate uh, to one lucky subscriber, um, and we do that every month. So all you have to do to enter is um, subscribe. Comment below and let us know that you're subscribed and let us um, know if you have any questions. Let us know what you love about our patterns. Let us know what your favorite pattern is um, and you'll be entered for the drawing for our giveaway. So go ahead and do that. Pause, subscribe, comment. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, here we go. So the first thing, and I have all these random nests right here, we're gonna grab our bodice and Here's my top of my bodice, and here is the bottom of my bodice. If you're doing a ruffle, I am not doing a ruffle on mine, but if you were to do a ruffle, right now you would grab your ruffle, you would ruffle, you would um, do a um, gathering stitch, so you can do like a straight, uh, a, a basting stitch, a long stitch, and just pull it together, and gather it the width of your top. So you would gather it as wide, you would make it as wide as your top, Oops, wrong side, as wide as your top, and then right sides together, you would baste the ruffle on your top first before you add the top part at the bottom of the bodice. So you would baste your ruffle at the bottom of the bodice, right sides together. And then you would grab the right side of the top of your bodice and put it right on top of that ruffle. If you're doing the ruffle, if you're not doing the ruffle, then you don't have the ruffle right there. But you, if you are doing the ruffle, you would sandwich the ruffle in between the top of the bodice and the bottom of the bodice. Ruffle touching the right side of the fabric, and if uh, you're do, and then this top bodice touching the right side of your bottom bodice. So it would be touching the back side of the ruffle, but the front side, the right side of the bodice. Does that make sense? Right side of the outside to the right side of the right side of the top side to the right side of the bottom side. And I'm going to go ahead and sew that together. I am using my serger. If you don't have a serger, no worries. You can use your sewing machine. All you got to do is um, use a stretch stitch on your sewing machine. Um, if you don't know what stretch stitch works best, I would say go in your sewing machine, test them out, and see which one you like. Um, now that this is done, you can go ahead and if you want to, you can top stitch that seam right there. Um, I might go ahead and do it really quickly right here on my cover stitch. If you don't have a cover stitch, um, you can top stitch with a double needle or... You don't have to top stitch if you don't want to. Oh, I almost cut my fabric underneath it. Can't say that would be my first time doing that because I am bad at catching my fabric underneath it. Don't catch your fabric underneath it. That will make you so sad. All right, so if you want a top stitch, you can go on top stitch right now and then steam that piece down. Now, after you do that, you're going to do the same thing. My chair got cut on my rug. The things that happen when I'm sewing. See, I top stitched it. Um, if you don't want to top stitch, you don't have to. You can just leave it raw. I mean, on top stitched. <laughs> uh, now you're gonna do the same exact thing to the back. You're gonna attach the back bodice bottom to the back bodice top together. What I did is I made one whole piece my back bodice because I didn't have enough of this yellowish fabric to, to do it. So what I did is I grabbed my pattern pieces and I overlapped them the uh, seam allowance, which a quarter inch uh, seam allowance, I overlapped them and um, I just created one piece for the back. So now we're gonna go ahead and attach the shoulders right here. Here's one shoulder 
and the other shoulders. We're meeting them right sides together on top of each other. And I'm gonna sew those shoulders on. Shoulders on. My kid loves when I make him cute jammies and these are gonna be, he's gonna love this because it's got the little dinosaurs on there. And he really likes double brush poly. This is double brush poly. He loves double brush poly because it's so soft. Okay. So now that the shoulders are on, we're gonna go ahead and sew our sides. So we're gonna match up these sides together. The sleeves are gonna be inset sleeves. So, yes. We're gonna sew this together. Who are you making your PJs for? Or are you making something else? I use this pattern to make um, like a little swim um, rash guard top for my little niece who is um, really fair skin. And so she um, burns easily in the sun. So she needs to have more than just a bathing suit on. She needs to have like actual full coverage because she burns so easily. All right, we're gonna sew those sides, those raw edges together. I always place my pin kind of um, farther in than where I'm gonna sew my fabric because I don't like to move my pins as I sew. I don't know why. I don't want to take a break from surging to remove a pin so I'm like eh, I'll just remove them all at the same time so I just kind of put them a little bit farther away than um, they're supposed to be all right so now that my top look at that is almost put together oh, it's gonna be so cute I'm gonna grab my sleeve now I am doing um, short sleeves. I hacked the pattern, cut the sleeve to short because um, it does get kind of hot at night time. My son gets hot. He doesn't want long sleeves. It's not quite cold enough yet. But if you're doing long sleeves, you're still going to do this part where you're going to grab your sleeve. You're going to fold it right sides together at the, at the outside seam and you're going to sew that whole seam together. So you're going to sew that sleeve into one. So I've got one whole sleeve. Now, with long sleeves, if you want to do the Grow With Me cuffs, um, it's going to be done the same way. The cuffs are going to be done the same way as the pant cuffs. So I'm going to go ahead and do this as a short sleeve. And then when I show you the pant cuffs, if you're doing an arm sleeve, you can go ahead and do the pant cuffs and the arm sleeves at the arm, arm, cuffs, blah, 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 arm cuffs at the same time because they'll be the same process. Um, but for the short sleeve, I'm just going to go ahead and hem when I'm done. I'll hem a uh, half an inch allowance for my sleeve. But for now, we're going to go ahead and attach the sleeve. So I'm going to find my top right here. I just want to know where the top is. And I just do a little notch because I just like to notch. And actually, let me turn my bodice inside out because it works better this way. And I'll turn my sleeve right side out. So bodice inside out, sleeve right side out. And I'm going to tuck my sleeve into my bodice. Matching first that seam at the outside of your sleeve. You're gonna match it with the seam at your armpit of your bodice. That armpit seam right here. You're matching that together. Then you're gonna match that notch that you made where the top is or how you wherever you mark it. If you didn't make a notch and you just uh, put a little pin there or whatever you did, you're going to put that right at the top. Right at the top. Okay. 
and then we're gonna sew them together and you're gonna have to stretch that sleeve just a little bit to fit in there not very much just a little bit and I'm just sewing that raw edge those two raw edges together Make sure you're not sewing anything else inside of there, like you don't catch any of the underside of your shirt. I've done that many times before. Not fun. Not fun at all. So my sleeve is on, and I'm just, I'm not gonna put my other sleeve on right yet. I'll put it on afterwards, and then you go ahead and steam it steam that sleeve on and hem if you're gonna hem if you're doing um my iron is not very hot turn that on okay and then you're gonna put attach the other sleeve but i'm only doing one sleeve right now for sake of time now we're gonna do our neckband and i know my neckband is somewhere around here here's my neckband and we're just going with yellow neckband and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do wrong sides together. I'm gonna fold the neckline, the neckband, long ways, wrong sides together. And actually, let me tell you, I'm not doing the fall uh, placket, but if you are, right now is where you would put it on. You would grab your piece, your placket piece, and you would gather it and you would place it right at the middle and you would sew that piece right on, the gathered piece first, you sew it right on. And then you would do, and it's gonna be raw edges. You don't hem it, but if you wanna hem it, you can hem it, but it was just raw edges sewn on. Then you would grab your, <clears throat> your, uh, your little placket and you would fold it right sides together just like this I mean, uh, yeah, right sides together, and this is wrong sides together, but right sides together, and you would sew the edge, and then you would flip it around like a tube, and it ends up looking like this, but with a sewn edge, and then you would go ahead and um, sew it, sew the two sides right on top of that ruffle. So you would sew the two sides right on top of that ruffle, and that would give you that, that look if you wanted to go for that. So I'm gonna grab my, uh, neckband open it up place it right sides together at the raw edge um, short edge short raw edge and I'm gonna sew that together the reason why we steamed and folded that um, this first was because now we gotta have to fold it wrong sides together but now that we have this memory crease it's so much easier see that so now I'm gonna go ahead and pin this right here. And I'm gonna quarter the band. So I'm gonna go to the front and find uh, where my half is. And I notch, I like to notch because um, then it's, um, if my pin moves, that's okay, I still have a mark. And then I'm gonna meet the front and the back together. I'm gonna go to one side and that's one quarter and the other side and that's another quarter. And I'm gonna pin and I'm going to pin. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the top. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna meet those shoulder seams first and I'm gonna go to the back and that's where my back seam is. And then I'm gonna go to the front and that's where my front seam is. Then I'm gonna meet the front and the back. And I'm gonna go to one side. And then meet the front and the back and go to the other side. Don't go by the shoulder seams because that's not an even quarter. See how it's like a half an inch off on this top? But on different tops it's different um, side, different, different um, off. By different measurements so you need to make sure you quarter now I'm gonna match up the quarters of my band with the quarters that I made on my top on my neck band, on my neck my top neck just matching those up 
and I'm putting the band right sides together on the right side of the fabric. I hear geese. We have a pond in our neighborhood and it is full of geese. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sew that neckband on. Every time I sew neckbands, I always face my neckband up because I wanna make sure to see how much I'm eating. Always make sure I'm gonna start just, I start just a little bit. Then I grab where my quarter point is and I make sure, cause you gotta pull the band just a tiny bit to match up with your neck band, to match up with your, match up with your uh, neck. So then I go to the next one. This I take slowly. Now the next one. And the last one. Okay, so the neckband is done. And if you want to top stitch that neckband, you're more than welcome to. I don't know that I'm going to because I am the worst at top stitching neckbands. I think it's because I go too fast and then I end up catching them the wrong way. But our top is basically done. So all you have to do now is hem it. And if you're doing the um, bands, then we'll do those when we do our pant bands. So hem it and that's it. My top is done. So I'm gonna move on to my pants. Okay, so I'm gonna grab one of my pant legs and I'm going to sew it, fold it, find here the crotch, and we're gonna go down that pant leg. And we're gonna sew that outer seam, that out seam of the pant leg. And we're gonna do that on both legs. I already did it on my other one, so I'm gonna do it on this one. But you gotta do it on both legs. We're sewing that out seam right there. Right sides together. I love sewing for my kid. He is like the sweetest when he comes to things that I sew for him. He is, he loves it. He always says thank you. He's always like, oh, and he wants to wear it. So here's my other pant leg and I'm gonna grab one of my pant legs, doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna turn it right side out. <clears throat> and then this right side leg, I'm gonna fit, shove it right into this um, wrong side out leg. Inside out, wrong side out, right side out, inside out inside out that's what I, I can't I always get confused with that saying I'm gonna meet them at the crotch seam first I don't know why I get so confused by that inside out right side out inside out that means it's backwards right and then we're gonna go up the side to the top and then up the other side I'm gonna show you in a minute because you're probably like confused by my inside out right side out their right sides together the right sides are touching because the right side out pant leg went inside the inside out pant leg. I said it right, didn't I? Let me know if I didn't say it right. And here they are. See how I'm meeting them at the crotch. Meet them first there and then go around. And now we're gonna sew that crotch together. Starting from the top, from the waistband area. And we're going all the way around. So now I'm going to untuck my pant leg and you've got yourself pants. Ta -da! Ah, take those pins off. <clears throat> All right. Ta -da! Here are my pants. How cute. Okay. And oh my word. How did I even do that? 
how did I even match that dinosaur so closely? I've, if I would have tried, there's no way I would have done that. Wow. I am good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like I said, if I would have tried, I would have done that. Here's our elastic. We're going to overlap it a quarter of an inch. And we're going to sew it together. I'm going to do a um, zigzag stitch back and forth. Zigzag stitch back and forth is together. I'm gonna grab the waist. I'm gonna go out to the edges and find my quarters. So I'm matching the front and the back. I'm going out to one side and match my quarter. I'm gonna match the front and the back, go out to the other side, match my quarter. And I'm gonna find the front. And uh, with the elastic, I don't like to quarter it. I'm just going to, I mean, I'm gonna quarter it, but I, I don't, I'm not gonna uh, notch it. I'm just putting a pin there to mark my quarters and I'm gonna match those up with my pants and I'm gonna put the elastic on the inside of my pants so I'm putting the seam on the back and then I'm going to those quarters that I made and pin my elastic on there and then we're gonna attach our elastic um, attaching your elastic you can either do a zigzag stick to attach it uh, but I'm just going to use my serger and attach it and serge on the edge. Um, I'm not going to use my knife. I'm going to disable my knife. But I probably won't disable it. I just will do it like right at the edge. But like I said, you can do just a zigzag stitch along the edge if you'd rather do that. But I'm going to pull on the elastic a little bit so that the uh, pant matches the elastic. Okay. So it's the same width. So it's going to scrunch up the pant a little bit. Start, <clears throat> pull it just a little bit. If you're using your serger, have it in so that the um, knife doesn't cut your elastic. And we're just pulling a tiny bit on the pant, on the elastic. I'm sorry, not the pant, the elastic. We're almost done. All right. So now that that's on, see my elastic is on, it's in. We're gonna fold it down. I'm gonna clip this off because I'm gonna sew on top of it. We're gonna fold it down like so, in. Okay, so here's my elastic. We're gonna fold it down so you can't see it. Okay. And we're going to pin it and then we're going to top stitch that edge so you can do a zigzag stitch all along that edge making sure that you're kind of sort of stretching it out a little bit the pant um, so that it so that it matches up you know so you're kind of stretching it out so it matches up so it's not so you don't get like super wrinkle and more on one side than the other I am going to top stitch with my cover stitch but you can do a double needle, you can do a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine. This is up to you. I'm gonna start at the back and top stitch that edge. Gotta make sure it's catching because. Uh, I've done it before where I have it and now it's not good. Perfection. I need a cover stitch no you don't need a cover stitch but if you can save for one if you can ask for one for Christmas and somebody will give it to you if you can find one for a really good price 
get it. It is such a time saver. You do not need it, but it is awesome. I saved up for it and I'm so glad I did. And here's my pants, my waist of my pants. So now we're doing our cuffs. I already did one on my cuffs, so I'm gonna show you on my other one. I'm grabbing it right sides. Here's my right side. And I'm gonna put, make sure you know where the stretch is going. Is it going this way? Is it going this way? It's the long way. So we're folding it right sides together the long way because it's grow with me, so it's gonna be long. And we're gonna sew that edge together, those two raw edges together. And then I'm gonna grab it and I'm going to fold it right sides together and meet at the seam. And it's called grow with me because, and it's, you're doing your arm bind, your arm cuff is gonna be the same way. It's called grow with me because it's such a long cuff, see how long it is? You can fold it up first when they're little. You fold it up like so, up. But when they, as they grow, you unfold it. And so now you have all this extra room to grow. Because usually they grow up before they grow out. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go ahead and grab our cuff. And I'm going to fit it into my pant, matching the seams right sides so the right side of the pan is touching the right side of the cuff and i'm gonna meet it right here and pin you can quarter the cuffs but i don't i just do is i grab them and i stretch them out and i go to where the front is and i pin right there but if you want to quarter it like we cut our quartered our neck pin and our waist pin you can do that see right there so now i'm going to go ahead and sew those raw edges together Make sure you're sewing all three pieces, leg and the two cuff um, uh, pieces of And you stretch a little bit the cuff and you sew. Make sure your fabric is coming through and I think I'm gonna have a hole on mine because I wasn't making sure my fabric was pulled all the way through. I see it right here. It didn't come all the way through. So I'm just going to go back and run right over it. I was telling you to do it. But I didn't do it. Happens. And here's our cuff. There it is. See how tall these look? Very tall. So while they're small, while they're still short, you can fold these cuffs up just like so. And they're shorter. And as they get taller, when they get taller, you fold them down and they still fit. They still have like another point of growth. And same with the arms, the cuffs with the arms. Isn't this such a neat pattern? And it's all free. So go get it, come make it. Join us on our Facebook or um, Instagram page. Show it off to us so we can see what you did. Um, and enter to win our giveaway. So $50 LA and my gift certificate. All you have to do is subscribe, comment below, and you are entered. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment below if you have any questions whatsoever. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.